Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at Website Voice, a text-to-speech plugin for your WordPress website. It's coming up next, so stay tuned. Website Voice is a relatively newcomer to the text-to-speech uh, type of plugin for your WordPress website. And you actually uh, don't need the plugin to make it work. So if you're not using WordPress, uh, you can use it. But I'm not going to be showing you to do that. I'm going to be showing you the WordPress way. And uh, it doesn't have all the features of the Amazon AI or the Amazon Poly plugin. Uh, that Amazon puts out along with WP Engine, but it is useful enough and it does convert your text to speech and that's the objective. So let's take a look at website voice. So we'll go over to the plugins and we're gonna type in website voice. Now I already have this installed, but it's all, website voice, all one word. And you see here, it's only got 70 plus active installations. So it's relatively new. They just came out with an update, which gives you the option to put it on your uh, only your blog post, which is what I've turned on. So once you find the plugin, you do what we always do. We click install and we click activate. Once you've activated the plugin, it'll be down here in your settings. And it's down here called website voice. And ignore that stuff there. And so this is the code that you're going to have to go get from the website voice website. So let's go take a look at that now. On the website voice website, uh, you can take a look at the demonstration that they have here and you can do customization and all that stuff. Uh, but we're interested in actually setting it up for our website. So how do you do that? It says right here, enable for your website. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm gonna put in my website and I'm gonna put in my email address. Now I've already done this, but that's what you would do. And then you'd come over to your dashboard once you do that. I think you also have to confirm your email address as well. Once you do that, you come over to your dashboard and uh, I've logged in again. And to log in, you put in your the same email that you used to uh, sign in. And uh, it'll give you your little dashboard here and this is where the, my snippet lives, so I can make changes to my snippet. I can change the, uh, the color of my snippet, and uh, I can also change the language uh, of the speech. Now I'm using English US, and you can take a listen here, what that sounds like. This is a demonstration text to listen to the capabilities of website voice in American English. Not too bad, right? And uh, there's uh, British, Indian, it goes from Arabic down to Welsh and everything in between. So you can pick the language that you prefer for your blog. And once you're happy with uh, your selection, I'll do in British English and I'll do female. And you also have the option to uh, do some uh, CSS custom editing. But here's our code that we have to put in that little snippet box. So we would copy our code and we'd go over to our website voice plugin and we'd paste in the code right here. Now I'm not gonna do that, I already have it in here. Once you're done, uh, I click Save Changes. And don't forget there's a little checkbox that's here, select only to show only in blog posts instead of all pages. You got all your changes saved, you got your uh, asynchronous JavaScript in there so it's not gonna really bog down uh, your website from loading. And uh, well, let's go test it out. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to go over to my blog. Go in incognito mode here. Uh, go to blog. We'll just pick this first one here. And here it is. Now this might uh, vary from where it starts. Uh, sometimes it'll start at the very top of the title. Sometimes it will uh, start further down. You'll see it further down. So it varies where it shows up. That's something that they're working on trying to control. But let's have a listen. January 28, 2019 by Welcome Back for another video. 
My name is Larry Snow, and in this video, I am showing you a couple of online image optimization tools to reduce the file size of images before I upload them to my website and why image compression is a huge factor to a faster loading website. So, let's get started. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Now, you notice down here, the actual uh, text is being read as it plays along. There's this little box down here. Uh, that you can see that loaded up what it's read so far and you can uh, images often account for most of the downloaded bytes on a web page uh, or we'll actually we'll continue on or you can uh, reverse it so it goes back from the beginning January 28 2019 by welcome back so that's pretty cool so that's an added thing that it shows up on your actual website as it reads through your text uh, let me go back to the dashboard for a second. And I just wanted to show you over here on your dashboard that you have widget stats. So it will keep track of, because it's connected, th this website is connected to your website, it's actually tracking how many times that, that uh, widget gets uh, used. So in these stats, we have the monthly plays for March, and there was nine, and it will tell you what pages were played and from what country. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and again, this is for free. You don't have to pay for anything on this plugin. Uh, yeah, you do give up some data because they're actually using the data that you provide from your website to go on their website. Uh, you're welcome to take a look at their FAQs and you contact their support for more information about that. But I, you know, I kind of like it. You know, one of the things that happened when I switched over to the to the uh, Gutenberg block editor. As, and I switched most of my blog posts to Gutenberg, I lost the ability to have the Amazon Poly uh, widget show up on my posts. And if you know how to fix that, let me know in the comments below. But uh, so it stopped working. So I had to find another solution. So that's why I came across Website Voice. So let me know what you think about Website Voice. Post in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.